We're excited to talk to you today about how to make building digital experiences a truly collaborative process across an organization. But before we look forward, let's briefly look back. It's 2014, and our last company was acquired by ShopStyle, a large shopping site focused on the fashion vertical. It was a fast-growing, complex business with over 500 million in GMV running through the pipes and operating across seven locales around the world. But it was operating on an incredibly archaic and monolithic tech stack. It was incredibly challenging to maintain and enhance the system and especially keep up with the rising demands of the business teams given the growth we were aiming for. At this point, something had to be done. This was also the time that mobile devices were exploding and modern front-end frameworks and single-page applications that were app-like were coming to market. These trends brought forth a slew of API-first solutions, including the headless CMS, an API-based approach to content management. We believe that replatforming to a modern tech stack with Angular on the front end and APIs on the back end that included commerce and search and licensing what is still a leading headless CMS on the market today for content management would solve our problems. Unfortunately, we were wrong. The replatform took nearly a year. You would think that rewriting the entire front end and building out new RESTful APIs for the back end service would be the most painful part. But actually, it wasn't. It actually became the content management. You see, the way a headless CMS worked in 2014 and still works over eight years later today, it's basically a thin abstraction over a database. You have schemas, you have fields, and you generate a UI for forms that you hook up to your code manually. Essentially, you take your website, you break it down into an enormous amount of fields, and you add boxes to fill in all those fields. For example, this is one of the ShopStyle US homepages back in those days. We took our hard-coded page and created effectively a Google form for filling out all the fields like text and images on that page. It seems great, right? Well, not quite. A few weeks after that homepage here was published, the marketing team said they wanted to have two CTAs on the homepage, a button for shop men's and a button for shop women's. You would think that would be really easy, right? Well, there's a problem. All of this is in the code base, so anything new, like a button, has to go through developers. Developers already have backlogs. It's a whole process to request developer time, queue the time, build the code, review the code, deploy the code, update the schemas in the CMS, and now you have another button. Can you imagine what happened when the marketing team came back and said they wanted to change the homepage hero to a carousel, or add a new banner that linked to our mobile app, or rearrange the sections of the page for a more optimal layout? Every time, the simplest change took what felt like an eternity. The ultimate result was the developers were pretty miserable. They were on the hook for marketing requests, pushing pixels, and doing very tedious and non-challenging work. The marketing team was frustrated. They were responsible for growing the business, yet they had very little control over the actual site. Both teams were unhappy, and rightfully so. And yet we were leveraging the best of breed technologies and solutions on the market. And then one day in 2016, someone on the ShopStyle marketing team walked over to our side of the office with a laptop in hand and showed us a landing page they created in a drag and drop visual tool called Webflow. It was a page that was sitting on the product development backlog for nearly a month because it was going to require the build out of a new schema and template yet again. It was exactly what they wanted. And so they asked if they could somehow just copy and paste the code from the landing page to our site. And sadly, the answer was no. That's just not how these things worked. But then of course the question was, well, why? Why can't there be a drag and drop visual solution that worked with a modern tech stack that could work with any front end framework, back end data source, or third party solution or internal tool? Ideally, one that would leverage all the hard work developers already did in building out component libraries, that let non developers with the appropriate permissions to have first class access to creating these new pages and experiences and tests, that freed the developers from an endless backlog of content and marketing requests to work on more fun, more challenging, more audacious projects, and allowed for designers, marketers, merchandisers, etc., to quickly build, test, and iterate to drive growth faster. I quit my job later that year, and I've been working on answering those questions ever since. And I'm proud to tell you today that our visual CMS is the solution.